Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on ionic equilibria of weak acids and weak bases. In our today's lesson, we will learn about ionization of water, measures of the strengths of acids and bases in aqueous solution dissociation of weak acids and weak beds. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define pH and pOH. Tell the relationship between pH and pOH. Calculate pH from hydrogen ion concentration and hydrogen ion concentration from pH. Calculate pOH from OH minus concentration and OH minus concentration from POH. Solve acid base equilibrium problems for weak acids and weak bases. Ionization of water. The self ionization or auto ionization of water can be represented by the equation water in equilibrium with hydronium ion and OH minus. Water is a weak electrolyte. Using the law of mass action, we can write the equilibrium constant for this equilibrium reaction. Kcm, Kc equal hydronium ion concentration H3 O plus concentration times hydroxide ion concentration divided by water concentration H2O concentration to the power 2 to the power 2 we can write this as Kc equilibrium constant Kc times concentration of water to the power 2 equal hydronium ion concentration H3O plus concentration times OH minus concentration note that Kc is constant equilibrium constant. Therefore, constant times constant gives you another constant which is known as ion products of water. K water ion products of water equal hydronium ion H3O plus times OH minus OH minus OH minus equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 at 25 degrees centigrade. The ion products of water denoted by the symbol K water equal hydronium ion concentration times OH minus concentration equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 at 25 degrees centigrade. If you multiply both sides by logarithm, we get log K water log K water equal log hydronium ion times OH minus concentration equal log hydronium ion concentration H3O plus plus log OH minus concentration equal log 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 is minus 14 equal minus 14. Multiply both sides by negative 1. Now this gives you minus log K water equal minus log hydronium ion concentration H3O plus minus log OH minus concentration OH minus concentration equal minus minus become plus 14 14 minus log K water is PK water PK water PK water equal minus log hydronium ion concentration is known as pH, pH, pH minus log OH minus concentration is POH, POH equal 14. At a temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, PK water, which is minus log of K water equal pH plus POH equals 14. Neutral solution where H plus equal OH minus. 
for a neutral solution, concentration of H plus equal OH minus. An acidic solution where H plus concentration is greater than OH minus concentration. A solution is said to be acidic if there is excess H plus concentration in the solution. A basic solution where OH minus is greater than H plus. A solution is said to be basic if there is excess hydroxide ion in the solution. If hydroxide ion concentration is greater than hyd hydrogen ion concentration, then the solution is basic solution. For example, calculate hydrogen ion concentration and hydroxide ion concentration as required for each of the following solutions at 25 degrees centigrade and state whether the solution is neutral, acidic, or basic. M, OH minus concentration is 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 molar. Students, at 25 degrees centigrade, I am products of water equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14. Therefore, H plus concentration, H plus concentration times OH minus concentration equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14. From this, H plus concentration, H plus concentration equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 divided by OH minus concentration, which is 1 times 10 raised to minus 4. 1 times 10 raised to minus 4 equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 10. You see, OH minus concentration is greater than hydrogen ion concentration. Therefore, this solution is basic solution. Beam, H plus concentration is 1 times 10 raised to minus 7 molar. At 25 degrees centigrade, ion products of water is 1 times 10 raised to minus 14. Therefore, OH minus concentration. OH minus concentration equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 14 divided by H plus concentration, which is 1 times 10 raised to minus 7. 1 times 10 raised to minus 7 equal 1 times 10 raised to minus 7. Concentration of H plus equal concentration of OH minus. This solution is neutral solution. pH scale. The pH of a solution is defined as pH is the negative logarithm of hydronium ion concentration or pH is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. pH decreases as the concentration of hydrogen ion increases. pH and hydrogen ion concentrations are inversely proportional. In other words, the more acidic the solution, the lower it is pH. The more basic the solution, the higher it is pH. Hydroxide concentrations can be expressed in terms of pOH. Therefore, pOH is a negative logarithm of hydroxide ion concentration. Practice exercise. Students, let us Try this exercise. You have two minutes.
Good. How did you do it? Let us do it together. What is the POH values of M? 0 0.005 molar sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is the strong acid. Completely dissociate. Sulfuric acid, H2, SO4. Completely dissociate into H plus, 2H plus, plus sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. Concentration of sulfuric acid is 0 0.005 molar. 0 0.005 molar. You see? One mole of sulfuric acid gives two mole of H plus ion. 0 0.005 mole in one liter of the solution gives two times, two times 0 0.005 mole. Now concentration of H plus, concentration of H plus equal 0 0.01 molar, mole in one liter of the solution. Now pH, pH of this solution is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration, which is 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 2, equal 2. B, 0 0.005 molar barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide is also a strong base, completely dissociate barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide in aqueous solution gives barium 2 plus, barium 2 plus, plus 2OH minus. Concentration of barium hydroxide is 0 0.005 mole in one liter of the solution. 0 0.005 mole in one liter of the solution. One mole of bar barium hydroxide gives two mole of OH minus. Therefore, 0 0.005 mole of barium hydroxide gives two times this, two times 0 0.005 mole. Now concentration of OH minus equal number of mole divided by V. Number of mole is this 0 .00, 0 0.001 mole divided by volume 1 liter. 1 liter which is 0 0.01 molar. Now POH, POH of this solution is the negative logarithm the negative logarithm of hydroxide ion concentration, which is 10 raised to minus 2, equal 2. pH, pH of this solution is 14 minus pOH, equal 14 minus 2 is 12. 12 is pH of 0 0.005 molar barium hydroxide solution. Measures of the strengths of acids and bases in aqueous solution. Students, how can we measure the strengths of acids and bases? Good. These are ways of measuring the strengths of acids and bases. One, hydronium ion and hydroxide ion concentration. Two, pH and pOH. Three, comparison of dissociation constants of the acid and dissociation constants of the base. Four, percent dissociation. Let us see each one by one. One, concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. For two different acids of equal concentration, the stronger acid will produce larger quantity of hydronium ion concentration. Take two different acids of equal concentration, two different acids of equal concentration. Hydrochloric acid, HCl, its concentration is one molar, and the other acid, hydrofluoric acid, which is a weak acid, the same concentration, one molar. In aqueous solution, hydrochloric acid produce a greater quantity of hydronium or hydrogen ion concentration.
Because hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, it's a strong acid. Therefore, for two different acids of equal concentration, the stronger acid produces the greater quantity of hydrogen ion. This is one way of measuring the strengths of acids and beds. Two, pH and pOH is another way of measuring the strengths of acids and beds. The smaller the pH, the smaller the pH value, the stronger the acid. Again, take two different acids, A and B, acid A and acid B. pH of acid A is 2. pH of acid A is 2. pH of acid B is 5. Now, which acid is more strong? It is A. Because the smaller the pH value, the smaller the pH value, the stronger the acid. The smaller the pOH value, the stronger the base. Three, percent ionization. Percent ionization is the extent to which an acid or a base is ionized. The extent to which an acid or a base is dissociated. Percent ionization by definition. Percent ionization. Percent ionization. Ionization. Equal amount dissociated. Amount dissociated. Dissociated divided by initial concentration. Initial concentration times 100%. If you wanted to calculate percent ionization, percent dissociation of an acid or a base, you can use this formula, you see. Percent ionization equal amount dissociated divided by initial concentration times 100%. For example, a one molar hydrofluoric acid solution has the following equilibrium concentrations. H plus concentration equal F minus concentration equal 0 0.026 and HF concentration equal 0 0.974. What is the percent dissociation of this acid? Now percent ionization of this acid, percent ionization equal amount dissociated, amount dissociated. Equilibrium concentration which is 0 0.026, 0 0.026, divided by initial concentration of the acid, which is 1, 1 times 100%, times 100%, equal 2.6%, 2.6%, which is a weak acid, a weak acid. Note that percent ionization for most Strong acid is 100%. Weak acids have small percent ionization. Comparison of dissociation constants of the acid and dissociation constant of the base. Acids with larger value of Ka are stronger than acids with smaller values of Ka. Beds with larger value of Kb are stronger than beds with smaller values of Kb. For example, acid, their dissociation constant, Ka values, hydrocyanic acid, its Ka value is 4.9 times 10 raised to minus 10. Nitrous acid, its dissociation constant, 4.6 times 10 raised to minus 4. Hydrofluoric acid, its dissociation constant is 6.8 times 10 raised to minus 4. Now, which acid is the strongest of these acids? By comparing their dissociation constants, we can arrange these acids in order of their acid strengths. Order of increasing strengths. Hydrocyanic acid is the weakest of these acids because 
it is dissociation constant is small, you see, 4.9 times 10 raised to minus 10. When compared with this, then nitrous acid, nitrous acid, this dissociation constant is 4.6 times 10 raised to minus 4. Hydrofluoric acid is the strongest of these acids. Its dissociation constant is 6.8 times 10 raised to minus 4. Therefore, one way of measuring the strengths of acids and bases is comparison of their dissociation constants, Ka and Kb values. Dissociation of weak acids and weak beds. Weak acids and weak beds dissociate to a small extent, dissociate partially. If you take a weak acid HM, weak acid HM, weak acid HM in aqueous solution plus water H2O liquid. Now this acid dissociates to a small extent into hydronium ion H3O plus aqueous and OH minus hydronium ion and A minus A minus aqueous. Using the law of mass action, we can write the equilibrium constant for this equilibrium reaction. Kc, Kc equal concentration of hydronium ion H3O plus times concentration of A minus divided by concentration of HM times concentration of water. Concentration of water. We can write this as Kc times concentration of water equal hydronium ion concentration H3O plus times A minus divided by concentration of HM. Kc is equilibrium constant, has constant value. Water, its concentration is constant. Constant times constant gives you another constant, which is known as acid dissociation constant, denoted by the symbol Km equal Km. Therefore, acid dissociation constant equal hydronium ion concentration times A minus concentration divided by Hm. For a base, for a base, the weak base B in water aqueous plus water H2O liquid to form BH plus BH plus aqueous plus OH minus. Using the law of mass action, we can write equilibrium constant for this equilibrium reaction. Kc equal concentration of BH plus times concentration of OH minus divided by concentration of base times concentration of water. We can write this as Kc times, Kc times concentration of water equal concentration of BH plus times concentration of OH minus divided by concentration of base. Kc is equilibrium constant, as constant volume. Concentration of water is constant. Constant times constant again gives you another constant, which is known as base dissociation constant, Kb. Kb, base dissociation constant equal BH plus times OH minus divided by concentration of base. For an acid, acid dissociation constant it is. For a base beam, it is base dissociation constant is this. For example, what is the pH and percent ionization of a 0.1 molar weak monoprotic acid HX solution? Dissociation constant of this acid is 1 times 10 raised to minus 5. You are asked to calculate percent ionization and pH of this solution. What do you do? The weak acid is HX, the weak acid, HX, HX, aqueous, slightly dissociates into H plus, H plus, aqueous, and X minus aqueous. 
it is initial concentration is 0 0.1 initial concentration 0 0.1 initially we have no h plus concentration its concentration is zero x minus its concentration is zero change let x amount of hx be dissociated its concentration is decreased by x minus x concentration of h plus increased by x plus x concentration of x minus increased by x plus x equilibrium concentration of hx is 0 0.1 minus x equilibrium concentration of h plus is 0 plus x is x equilibrium concentration of x minus is 0 plus x x now you can set acid dissociation constant for this acid kn acid dissociation constant kn equal equilibrium concentration of h plus is x equilibrium concentration of x minus is x x times x equal x square x square divided by equilibrium concentration of hx is 0 0.1 minus x 0 0.1 minus x now for a small value of x 0 0.1 minus x is approximately 0 0.1 therefore this is x square divided by 0 0.1 equal acid dissociation constant is 1 times 10 raised to minus 5 1 times 10 raised to minus 5 from this x equal the square roots of 1 times 10 raised to minus 6 equal equilibrium concentration of h plus equal equilibrium concentration of ax minus x minus x equal the square roots of 1 times 10 raised to minus 6 is 1 times 10 raised to minus 3 molar equal h plus concentration h plus concentration now what is ph of this solution ph is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration therefore ph equal minus log of hydrogen ion concentration is 1 times 10 raised to minus 3 is 3 pH of this solution equal 3. What is percent ionization of this acid? Percent ionization. Hx having a concentration of 0 0.1 molar and acid dissociation constant 1 times 10 raised to minus 5. As we said, percent ionization, percent ionization equal amount dissociated, which is x amount dissociated 1 times 10 raised to minus 3 divided by initial concentration of the acid which is 0 0.1 initial concentration 0 0.1 times 100 percent times 100 percent 0 0.1 is 10 raised to minus 1 become 10 now this is 10 the power of 3 times 10 raised to minus 3 percent ionization of this acid equal one percent one percent students in our today's lesson we learned ways of measuring the strengths of acids and bases in aqueous solution we can measure the strengths of acids and bases using ph and poh comparison of dissociation constants of the acids and bases using percent ionization we also discussed dissociation of weak acids and weak bases weak acids and weak bases dissociate to a small extent dissociate partially this brings us to the end of our today's lesson until next time, goodbye.